Welcome back to GalaxySGTips.com. I just wanted to show you a new feature I heard about just today, which is the fact that you can actually connect your Samsung Galaxy S2 by Bluetooth to a Bluetooth mouse. Now, it's actually really simple to set up. All you have to do is go to Settings, Wireless Network, Bluetooth, Settings, and let's start that up. Obviously we have to turn our mouse on as well and turn the pairing on for the mouse. That's it. And, and there it is, XPS M2010 mouse. That is the mouse we're after. So we're just going to tap it and it's paired pretty much straight away. Um, you can see a mouse pointer has now appeared on the screen as well. Which um, is obviously your first clue that it's working. Okay, so the only problem we've had with this mouse in particular is that we can't get the scroll scrolling to work very well. Um, instead of scrolling, it seems to do what you would expect a right click on a computer to do, or rather if you just tap and hold something on the phone when you get an extra menu of options, that seems to be the effect that the scroll wheel actually has. However, we've got the, the right mouse click button acts as the back button, and the left acts as a standard tap on the screen. So you can just you can click and drag, do everything you would expect to do with a standard tap. And the scroll wheel, if you push down on it, it brings you to the brings up the menu at the bottom of the screen, um, regardless of what program you're in, as long as menus are part of it. So let's open the internet, um, tap, click the scroll wheel, and we get the menu. It's pretty good. Um, let's try and search for something. We'll just do Galaxy Oops. S2. And you'll see the scroll wheel isn't taking us up, down, or anywhere. And in fact, it, but you can still obviously just click and drag as you would if you were tapping. But again, the mouse button takes you back in the browser as well. Okay. The other function, which uh, I've just been reminded of now, with the scroll wheel, is if you tap and hold it, it brings up the search option as well, for search for the phone. So any of those programs that allow you to search, like your contacts, sorry, your contacts, more like, or your email, or your messages, or the internet of course, will have the option to tap and hold the scroll wheel for a search. Now you might not find this very useful in your day-to-day -day life, and I'm pretty sure I wouldn't sit here at home using my phone with a mouse attached. However, if you think about it, you can actually can um, connect a keyboard down here so should you want to compose an actually a, a long email for some reason, for whatever reason you don't want to use your laptop or you want to connect this to the TV as well, in that case you might find it useful to use the mouse on the phone with the TV um, if you're watching media or whatever or if you want to compose an email and, um, and you just want to hook up a keyboard quickly and uh, have a full typing experience, that you might find that useful. But um, either way, we thought it was a, an interesting little feature to find on the phone, especially straight out of the box, because a lot of these sort of extra connections often require for some sort of hacking or modding to take place. But um, that's everything all for, for now. I hope you enjoyed this little featurette, and come back to Galaxy S2 Tips soon. Bye.